not every cabin chronicle starts at the cabin. It's two days before I'm gonna be up there and boom. Yep, this is where I'm at. Oh look, I've made it to the cabin because you can't have a cabin chronicles without the cabin. So the last time you guys saw me, I was at the Ikea getting three area rugs. Why would I get three? Well, because we like to keep a rug right there, okay? And every once in a while, like it was, at some point it just gets too dirty and nasty and we don't like anything dirty and nasty here. So we replace it. And when we get rid of it, uh, we normally have one or two uh, in the upper closet. And so we were out, we just ran out. So I had to go get three more, which is pretty cool because they last about a year, uh, maybe six months or whatever until uh until like somebody spills red wine on them or something like that because they are off white and i know we could get a darker color but that's not the look we got going here at the cabin so that's what sandra wants she gets the off white and we get it done so we're going to replace that um another thing is people cannot figure out this storm door no matter how much i tell them so now they've warped it see see how much look at all this so they trashed it out to the point where it doesn't even close all the way. So I'm gonna fix that. Do you see all these cobwebs and nasty stuff like on the back of here? Well, I don't like it, all right? I feel like the outside of this place looks like uh, what the homes look like at the outside um, if you ever saw the movie The Mist. So we are going to power wash the crap out of everything. And then when Sandra and I are up here, We'll do the windows so yeah that's what uh, this cabin chronicles is about right now i'm going to tackle that door first then the carpet then tomorrow i'll do all the wet stuff with the uh with the power washing so let's get at it what is this as we always go to improve the cabin sandra bought this little table that's going to go up in the loft so i guess we're going to see what that looks like I guess like that. All right, please hold. And there it is, adorable. Bam. I am doing what I can to make the most out of my second trip to uh, to Michigan City. And that is, I'm gonna get an air filter. Um, we need some rinse aid. I'm gonna get a new door, storm door thingy. I know, exciting, right? I know. It's been a pretty productive day, even though I had to run to the store a couple times. I did end up changing out the air filter, fixed the door, got uh, stuff ready to go for tomorrow for tomorrow's power washing, rinse aid stuff's there, finished a load of laundry. So tomorrow is another day to get things done. Day two here at the cabin. Get ready to power wash all this stuff. Obviously, I'm going to change my clothes up because it's all going to get wet. All right, guys. Serious fashion faux pas. Three different kinds of camo. One, two, three. Uh, oh. Yeah, the cabin don't care. This ain't a fashion contest. Although I'd win. Heck yeah, I would. Just to have the courage to rock three different camos. Let's go. As you guys saw, I knocked it out. Look at this, it looks great. This place looks really good, but now the deck doesn't. So I've been power washing the deck as well. It's a power wash day. 
We're getting it done though. See you in a bit. Oh my gosh, I have been power washing for like six and a half hours. My lower back is dead, but guess what? I got it done. I got the deck done. You guys just saw me uh, do the last of it. And yeah, it looks good. Okay, so the, I mean, I still have like a half a day, but I got to get out of here tomorrow. Um, so what's going on there? It looks like that'll be my last project which I'll be doing tomorrow because I am over it today. <sighs> Last day here at the cabin. It's only half day. Now that I have the whole place looking great, it really does from the, uh, from the power washing. Now I'm going to spray it all down with this bug preventer. Keep these critters out. Got to stay out. Get, get out. Well, don't come in. You guys not, might not be able to see it, but I mean, I did spray everything around there and I'm very happy with it, but now... I have to clean all the windows on the outside. <laughs> it's like, oh no. But those are gonna be tough to get to and I'm running out of time. Um, see how hazy that is. I was gonna fix this door, but I gotta get this done first. All right, I got all the windows on this first floor done. Do I look sweaty? Cause I'm sweaty, I feel sweaty. So I should look sweaty, but. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Woo! Got the door fixed. Or, yeah, door fixed. I know some of you are probably watching that video going, <laughs> what a dumbass. You're right. But uh, luckily, I'm built like a gorilla and um, I am uh, kind of tough like a water buffalo. It's like hurting one of those. So, am I hurt? Absolutely. Am I hurt bad enough to go to the hospital? No. Um, the longer it's been, a, been like two, three hours since it's happened, maybe. And, uh, yeah, left shoulder, left hand, left shin, right foot. Those are, oh, and my left butt cheek. Those are all the things that are jacked up right now. And I'm super excited about this because, uh, I have another project going on tomorrow with my not so cabin chronicles. So that's going to be fun. That's going to be a good time. But either way, this cabin chronicles is done. I'm heading home and See you on the next one. So it's the next day and I'm putting the Cabin Chronicles together and I realized, oh no, I didn't tell you guys how, uh, what happened to the top three windows. Cause we did end up getting those cleaned. And when I say we, uh, my buddy Wayne Tabor came over and he offered to help, yay. Uh, I held the ladder at a much higher angle because once I went back and saw the video on the, on the GoPro, I was like, wow, that whole thing was destined for disaster. Either way, I held the ladder for him he went up and he cleaned those windows for me. Now, if you watch the video and, you know, once you got over the shock that I fell and you were concerned about me, but if you didn't laugh, <laughs> knowing that I'm okay, go back and look at it again. Because Sandra and I have watched that video like 10 times and we were laughing so hard, I was crying. Because there's really, I mean, I think it's funny when people get hurt, even when it's me. So feel free, go back, watch me fall, laugh at it, or don't, totally up to you. But I just want you to know that I'm bruised up, but I'm okay. And I did mention that I'd be doing a Not So Cabin Chronicles today. Sandra shut that down yesterday. She's like, you are not gonna be in the mood or be able to handle that today. It ended up raining anyway, so I couldn't have done it, but she was right. So for the next couple of days, I'm gonna be sore, but I'm good to go. And once again, I wanna thank you for watching my Cabin Chronicles.